Yo, 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 what up, what up? This is day four of Vlogmas. This is hard work, man, putting up all these vlogs, man, even though it's only been two or three. Back in this bitch. $10,000. On, on top of that, $65,000. But you have to eventually pay $65,000, and annually, then... and then that 10, and, What do you mean annually? That, like every single year that goes by, $65,000. They already keep your membership. And then just to maintain it is a ten thousand dollar course. Okay, all right. So when you when you actually work there, right? It's a resort. Is it a resort or a, a it's golf a, club? A golf country club. Why would you even like like why would what would someone want to be a part of that for? It's the lifestyle of the rich and famous, I guess. Don't want don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> you ready to work, Doug? Ten forty-five and a twenty-five. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Sorry, bro. You got, you have better days. You know what WB stands for? A weak bitch. And I'm not one of them. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Throw in like two plates and a half. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna actually show you guys how to make something, right? Let me show you guys the camera that I'm filming on right now. This is a Nikon D5200, right? It's an awesome camera, maybe not the best for vlogging because of the size. It just looks really imposing and like, you know, walking into any type of establishment and they see this, they're gonna be like, yo, like, they automatically gonna have it in head, yo, bro, you can't film in here. And I'm like, all right, whatever. Besides being a really cool camera, I have to downsize. I need to downsize for vlogging because I need something that I can just throw in my pocket. And I know all the cool ass YouTubers is rocking G7Xs, over $700, no thank you, but I do got something better. So a couple Christmases ago, my girlfriend at the time asked for a, a GoPro. Come Christmas day, I don't get the GoPro, but I get the Sony action cam, right? If you watch my, my last three vlogs, all of them were filmed on that camera. I'm thinking to myself, okay, instead of going out to buy new gear to create content, I just have to use what I already have. So I have the Sony action cam, and it's been working out really well, but just sometimes um, it's handheld, and whenever I turn the camera, my hand naturally shifts against the body of the camera, and it creates like a popping noise because the camera's microphone is like right in the front of it. In order to eliminate that, I went out and got a an external microphone, which is the Rode Video Micro. It's this one right here. See how small it is? Now look at it compared to the size of the camera that I actually use, right? It, it looks like they just kind of go together. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to see if I can make, in my opinion, the ultimate vlog camera by having cool image quality and also having an external mic for better audio. All right, so I have the Sony AS20 in my hand right now. The audio sounds, it's okay for, for being an onboard microphone, but I'm gonna see if I can mimic the same thing that I was telling you guys about with the, uh, like whenever I turn my hand, right? So typically, if I wanna show you guys something over there, I'll go ahead and turn my hand, or I'll turn it this way, or I'll, I'll turn it over here, and I just, I just try to, you know, because it's really handy, I can, I can do that. But I'm not sure if, if the microphone is now picking up some like a, like, a, like a popping sound whenever I do that. But it's really annoying when I have to edit it and stuff like that. So what I was thinking about doing, let me go back to the mirror, was having the camera with the microphone right here. Right, because the microphones, one and two, those are the onboard mics, they, they're like right in the front. But this one will be, I think, a lot better, right? And I can, it's still small enough so that way I could put it in my pocket. The trick is, how am I gonna how am I gonna put it together? I have a couple of ideas. I tried actually placing the uh, microphone right around here and using zip ties, but the zip ties didn't work. And one of the major issues why it didn't work is because I need access to the bottom of the camera through this little flip port right here, because that's where the audio import cord would go, right? And you see, obviously, this this doesn't come off, and I can clip this off, but I don't want to do anything too invasive to the camera. I realize that I have some of these extra like Velcro patches, 
that they're wide enough so I can actually put this like the scratchy part onto the camera, wrap their microphone around in this, and then stick it to it and hopefully it'll stay in place. First thing I'm gonna do is actually measure the flat surface of the camera an inch and a quarter. So that's what I'm gonna cut out. So I'm eyeballing everything so it doesn't have to be like completely perfect. What I'm doing is taking a little bit of alcohol, kind of getting away some of the oils on it from grabbing it for days. Boom. That should actually look kind of clean. The reason why I had to leave this little spot open is because this is where like the memory card goes and I need to make sure that I can open it up really easy. And y'all probably wondering, yo, why don't you just go out and get like an external mount for this? And it's because even though this is a good action cam, the accessories are not as available as they are for GoPro. They have a like skeleton case. I could have spent $30 on it, but y'all know me. If I could save some money, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And plus doing things on the cheap, it makes you kind of work out your creativity. I gotta measure how long this is. It is a little bit over one and a half inches in length. All we gotta do is just Look, this is like the official test right now. This is without the microphone plugged in. I'm just gonna say a couple of words just so you guys can kind of see what the audio sounds like. It's Vlogmas day number four. Really excited about it. It's been really challenging to kind of put up a new vlog every single day. Even though it's only been four days, I have a newfound respect for any vlogger that does daily vlogs. This is with the Rode Video Micro plugged into the camera. Um, hopefully the audio sounds a little bit more crisp. It doesn't have uh, like peaks and valleys in the audio. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say probably the same thing I did before. Guys, welcome to episode four of our Vlogmas. Um, it's been really challenging to kind of put up a new video every single day. Although it's only been four videos, just know that I have a newfound respect for any vlogger that does daily vlogs. So guys, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and rock with this. This is what the vlog setup looks like. You can see it stays really small and compact. I really like it, you know, and uh, you know, it's just something that could be on the go, throw it right in my pocket and be good. Um, what I'm gonna do right now, put it to my computer and see what kind of audio I'm getting out of it and see if this work was even worth it. I think it looks really cool. I hope this helps. And if you have something similar to this, now you guys have a professional way to go about your vlogs. Uh, Semi-professional. <laughs> Just woke up from a little bit of a man nap and shit. I'm gonna take the rest of the night off. I wanted to uh, tell you guys a little something that I've been working on with a friend of mine. I'm into fashion and stuff like that for those of you guys that, that already know me. Me and a friend of mine named Salim uh, Weldon, he lives out in Philadelphia. We had collaborated on a little project. We're making these cool ass Letterman jackets. All of them are actually cut and sew from scratch. I did what I did best and I started to customize the Chenille patches with some python skin on them and then he started to add them onto the jackets. I noticed this vlog is coming up a couple days before Christmas, but hey man, we could rush orders anyway, you know what I'm saying? So definitely check it out. I hope you guys like it. If you guys cop something, awesome. If not, you know, let me your feedback, you know, put it down in the comment section below. Let me know, are they stylish? I know it's kind of short notice, but what, you know, would you guys put this in your wardrobe? Would you rock it? And even tell me what you will rock it with. I'm always inspired by people, by other people's fashion ideas. So just let me know. For the rest of the night, I'm going to be hanging out with my daughter. We're going to be watching Christmas movies and probably baking cookies. Just enjoying the holidays with her. So guys, thanks so much for watching. I will catch you guys tomorrow.